Magandang araw, madlang people! Ngayon, pag-aaralan natin ang Fermi Energy and Density of Electron States para malaman natin kung ilang electrons ba ang pwede natin gamitin sa ating conduction. So una, tandaan natin ang ating energy bands. Ang energy bands natin ay parang timba. Ang energy bands ay kung saan natin pwede ilagay ang mga electrons natin. These are the allowed energy levels in which your electron may occupy. And like a pail, or parang timba, Pag linagyan natin ng tubig or pag linagyan natin electrons, your electrons will tend to fill the lowest levels first. So, meron tayong dalawang pwedeng kalabasan dito. Pwedeng yung fill niya is hanggang dito lang. In between your energy band, nasa gitna ng energy band. Or pwede masagad niya yung timba natin or sagad niya yung isang energy band mo. Dito siya sa taas. So, in both cases, yung Fermi energy natin, the Fermi energy, this is the energy that represents the highest energy level occupied by an electron. So in this case, dito sa kaliwa, in which partially filled lang yung energy band natin, yung Fermi energy mo is this energy here, which is directly above the highest energy level occupied by an electron. If fully filled yung isang band and completely empty naman yung next band, your Fermi energy will then be somewhere in the middle of the band gap. So, itong baba natin, yung fully filled band, itong tinatawag nating valence band, yung nasa taas, ito yung ating conduction band. And yung gap nila ng dalawa, this is what you call your band gap. Yung Fermi energy natin, important yan to know the distribution of our electrons in an atom or in an energy. So, yung at uh, temperatures greater than 0 Kelvin, the electrons are given thermal energy which allows them to be excited. Or yung sabihin, yung electrons mo hindi lang siya nakastagnant, pwede na siyang tumalon to a higher energy level. Fermi Dirac statistics, or yung equation here, gives us a distribution probability of an electron to have an energy E. So, gives us the probability to have an energy E at temperature T. And we'll see that as temperature gets higher, more electrons are found above the Fermi level. So, yung Fermi level natin from the electron distribution function, yung EF here, the Fermi level, this can be defined as the energy in which we can find 50% or parang yung probability of finding an electron is 50%. So, yun yung ating Fermi energy. So, that's an alternate definition of that one. So again, yung electron distribution function natin, this, this basically just tells us the probability probability of having an electron at an energy E. Now, let's take a look at the density of electron states. Ang density of electron states natin, tinanggal ko na yung derivation kasi nandun naman sa module. This just tells us how many electrons are present uh, how many electron states, sorry, how many electron states are present in a given energy level? So we can think of your electron states, this one, this is your density of electron states. We can think of your electron states as chairs. Ang electron states are basically chairs or places in which your electrons can sit. So dito, meron tayong apat na electron states. Meron kang tatlong electrons. So, yung electrons mo pwede umupo dun sa chairs natin. So, the density of electron states, this formula, the density of, the 3D density of electron states is equal to V real, where V real is the volume of the crystal, the whole crystal. So, volume of the whole crystal, not just the unit cell, whole crystal yan. We have 2 over 2 pi squared times 2 m star over h bar squared where m star is your effective mass of the electron effective mass and this is raised to 3 halves 
times square root of E minus EC or the energy of the electron above the conduction band. So example, let's calculate the number of states from the bottom of the conduction band to one electron volt above it for a 1 mm squared gallium arsenide crystal. Assume that the electron effective mass is 0.067 m0 where m0 is the rest mass of the electron. So to get the number of states from 0 to 1 electron volts, since kanina, itong formula na to, this just tells you the density of states at a given energy level. Isang energy level lang. Ngayon, meron na tayong range. So kung may range na tayo, makakuha natin yung number of states by integrating this one. So integrate from 0 to 1 electron volt yung ating density of states na equation. In putting our given, ito and ito, into this here, or in putting yung M star natin dito and yung volume natin dito, integrating that one from 0 to 1 electron volt, 0 to 1 electron volt squared of E over DE, then we'll get, we have 7.88 times 10 to the 16 na electron states from 0 to 1 electron volt above the conduction band. Now from, since we now know yung ating Fermi energy, yung electron distribution function natin, and yung density of states natin, we can now get the total number of electrons in a solid. The total number of free electrons in a solid could then be obtained using the knowledge of the density of electron states and the electron distribution function. So we multiply these two, then we integrate them from 0 to whatever uh, limit that we want to find. So from here, makakuha natin yung parang number of electrons na pwede natin gamitin for, let's say, conduction. So yung GE natin, this is your density of electrons. So basically, sinasabi niya, parang ito yung upuan na pwede upuan ng electrons natin. And itong probability na to, this tells you kung ilan, kung ano yung probability na meron kang electron na nakaupo dyan in that specific energy. Integrating from 0 to infinity will get the total number of electrons in a solid that can participate in, let's say, conduction. So hopefully, naging malinaw sa inyo to. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you!